Hey guys, we just landed in Paris and we are catching a flight to Marseille to check out the Cannes Boat Festival. See you there. Okay, we just made it to Cannes. Let's go find some electric boats. We're standing in front of the E-Dorado launch event, which is an all-electric hydrofoiling boat. Let's go check it out. So uh, we believe that if, if you want to boat electric, you have to reduce, drag, reduce resistance. That's why we chose to go foiling. Um, your range increases, your max speed, speed increases, because we'll always have this advantage in comparison to traditional boats. Uh, at first, you'll give uh, a command with steering wheel, of course, and then the pods will turn into the corner, and then uh, it works together with the flaps, and uh, it will make the corner uh, very tight, very efficient. Amazing. Okay, so this boat has twin electric motors and actually the motor is in the hub itself so it has cooling from the water flow around it and it features monocrystalline solar panels that cover the back portion up on the t-top and also up in the bow and the cool thing about this that the boat's covered with solar panels is that at five knots this boat can go indefinitely. Try to make a change in the boat, like the boat design, like how you get your energy, how you get your boat to make itself uh, sustainable. So you don't need to rely on infrastructure and definitely don't need to rely on any fossil fuels. So you have a fully self-sufficient boat and tested some different options. I, I have some prototypes with wind turbines and so forth. Didn't really work out. But what really worked out extremely nicely, solar panels. And then it's quite easy to make the equation, just the size of the boat, how much energy do you need to power a boat of this size? And then you just make the, that area available for solar panels on the boat. We're standing in front of AST, and this is the 340 Revolve, an all-electric brand new tender. It's got some really cool features that we're gonna check out. But look at this innovative motor design. Because it's electric, it rotates on a servo, it's able to just tuck up and fold away. And when you want to use it, you press this button here. And it folds down ready for use. When you turn the wheel, all electric steering, you have a phone holder here because this connects to Bluetooth on the boat and you get all your engine information. It can play up about 20 knots. This is your throttle here, all carbon fiber, teak. Once you're ready to set this boat back on the deck, you just hit this button again. Motor folds itself away. Amazing little piece of technology. So the reps at AST are saying that in years past, about 25% of customers were asking for electric drives, but now it's up to about 75% of people are actually asking for electric drives. So we're right here in front of ZeroJet, and they manufacture electric jet drives for tenders. So this is their electric motor and jet system. They use a 15 kilowatt motor coupled to a jet drive that you can actually steer with either the tiller or they have a small steering console. 48 volt motor, you have your pump and a drive shaft in between. Yeah, no reduction gear, just no direct reduction. connection. No gears, just straight. Because the motor makes such incredible torque low down yeah. that we don't need a gearbox or anything. And, we've built, and the one thing we've done here, the motor was built and designed by us, the jet was built and designed by us. So we've designed it to work seamlessly together. So they, where the jet wants its most RPM and it works its best is where the electric motor performs its best. best. So like, we're not compromising on anything. We've yeah. literally taken both things and tweaked them and tweaked them and tweaked them until they work seamlessly together. And now we've got a yeah, this will do 22 knots uh, on this little boat. Yeah. This is the motor. This motor, you can see the core system is more integrated into it. Um, the whole system package is a little bit smaller on this. Mm -hmm. It's on my phone. Okay. So, it's on there. so that's the whole system, the motors, there's no gearbox. 
electric motor direct to the, the jet drive out the back here and that's it and then you have your two battery packs 48 volts on the side and you have a really small profile in the whole boat okay we're in front of phoenix a really unique company that makes outboard motors with different style propulsion based on elements from nature like jellyfish whale tail let's check out this unique company so this outboard motor actually takes its inspiration from a jellyfish so this vibrates back and forth and it provides that same jellyfish style propulsion. As you can see in the tank, it's turning up. Incredible. And the best thing about this is if you're in the water with it or if it hits something or like we've all heard about uh, propeller accidents, this you can touch it and you might get a little bruise, but there's gonna be no serious injury here. Uh, you can see on the video right back here, uh, this boat right here is driving with this uh, jellyfish jellyfish motor right here. So this beautiful looking thing is actually a prototype electric motor and instead of a propeller you have this whale tail. So it provides propulsion by moving up and down in the water and pushing the vessel along. It's still in development but they actually hope to have one of these ready for the Olympics in Paris. Okay, so we're here in front of Ripple Boats. So this company is a combination of Pascal Technologies and a shipyard that are combining their resources to build this boat based on air cushion technology. Let's take a closer look. So this is their prototype and it's using Pascal Technologies air cushion uh, prototype. So you have these big vents up forward that draws in air into an air pump. And then you have this void underneath the boat that's sort of like a hovercraft monohull combination where you actually get uh, about 45% additional range. So most electric boats of this size get about 20 to 25 nautical miles in range. And this one actually gets uh, significantly more, 45 nautical miles in range. Uh, that's their, according to their estimates. And that's basically gonna be best in class. There are no other electric boats that can do that kind of range uh, at cruising speed. So they also have quite large batteries, 190 kilowatts. And the boat itself is quite large. You have, it's a 10 meter length, 3.2 meter beam. Um, and the other best thing about it is their starting price point, 375,000 euro, uh, because they have that uh, shipyard efficiency, they're able to charge less. Uh, most other boats are starting at half a million euro. So this is gonna be quite exciting. They're supposed to have their boat built uh, next summer. And we are gonna go to Oslo and check it out. Hey, we're at a boat show, but they have an electric airplane behind me. So we've been working with Vox Par for quite a while. Uh, we put a boat on the water here in Cannes with, with Vox Par last year to try the 300 horsepower. Uh, one thing led to another and uh, they decided to uh, invest in our company. So they have a 10% share. Uh, Non-exclusivity, so we can work with all the other boat builders just before. But uh, our partnership with Vox Par means that we can definitely accelerate uh, electrification as it's a, it's a great validation of electric and all other boat builders can see that this is really something that works. Okay guys, we're in front of Virtu Boat Builders. They are a company out of Poland and their day boat behind me, they fitted with twin Ehoi Breeze outboard motors. Let's go check it out. So this boat has twin wings that fold out and give you a really nice huge beam. So you, you have the 20 boy top works. Uh, how does it perform? It performs uh, very well. I mean, the boat itself uh, has a piece that hull, so it basically, basically uh, helps uh, the boat uh, planing at an instant. So uh, the boat is planing uh, already at uh, 14 knots for a specific uh, end user, uh, for a specific uh, type of uh, water. Uh, it's, it's a very, very cool design and very cool solution. 
example, uh, we sold it already uh, to the client uh, who in his country um, cannot use uh, petrol powered outboards. So this is basically for, for such a customer, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a straight away like very cool win. Yeah, so striking, striking a deal with, with us uh, already on the first day. Hey guys, so we're standing in front of the Sun Reef 80 Power Eco. It's the world premiere of this boat. It's covered in solar panels, has twin electric motors. Let's go check it out. Okay, so electric boats and solar power propulsion plus the solar panels that are more and more on high demand because our clients, they uh, really want to be eco-friendly and they consider uh, eco and sustainable issues. So uh, we really experience more and more demand for the electric boats, not only sailing, but also power, electric power. Um, and we really, it's a super hype for this type of boat. This is 80 uh, power. So it means that it's like electric portion and uh, solar panels all over the boat. Also in the hulls incorporated in, into the Bimini as well and on the flybridge. So we're standing in front of Marion Yachts. So this boat is, the owner was actually worked for Riva and he designed this boat with that classic style. It's all electric, let's check it out. So we're on board the Marion. So this company is actually from Austria and the owner of this boat worked for Riva for many years. Uh, and you can just tell all the influences. The, there's a beautiful teak deck. Everything is just styled so nicely. It has that classic look. So right behind me is the Future E. It's easily the most radical looking concept here at the show. It looks like a Lamborghini, more like a car than a boat, and it has foils underneath. Right now, it looks like it's fitted with a, a gas Mercury outboard. However, this boat is totally set up to be electric. Okay, we are in front of the Tide Icon, designed by BMW, the, uh, the I group of BMW. You can see it's this beautiful electric ferry, and this thing is all electric. It's shuttling people back and forth here at Con. right here in Cannes at the launch party for Ripple Boats. Written by Marine, which uh, provides the production facilities and the know-how of how to build. We're very excited for the world to see what we think is the most exciting electric boat brand. It's a new boat company that's a hybrid between Pascal Technologies and Triton Boat uh, Shipbuilders. They've joined forces to make this new boat and uh, Ripple Boats, the company, it's a monohull catamaran hybrid that pumps air under the hull to stick with the model. So you can see the vents in front here, that's actually where the air pump pulls air through and sends it underneath the hull. Hey guys, that wraps it up. We're, uh, we're in Cannes and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We, we got on some electric boats, we took a test ride, we saw some unveilings. Uh, we went to a launch party for Ripple Boats. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one.